<laughs> Welcome back. We finally got another Savage. Well, almost a Savage. Out on the bench for review today. So big shout out to Lucas for letting us take this one on loan by way of 4473. So we can get some data on how well the new Stevens 334 rifles perform. So this one is in 308. And if you guys remember way back when, the Stevens line of rifles were, were pretty cool. They were a heck of a value for the money because they were basically a Model 10, but for really cheap. Now, this is definitely no Model 10. However, I think just at face value, I've not shot this one yet, could potentially be a one-up on the Savage Axis. So to me, just initial fit, finish, and feel, this really reminds me of a Browning. You do have a 60 degree bolt throw. And guys, I'm here to tell you, the action in this thing is ridiculously smooth. It is super, super smooth. I have not done anything to this. It is a loner gun, so it's gonna go back to the gun shop as soon as I get done. But I'm really impressed with how smooth the action feels. It's a 20 inch carbon steel button rifled barrel. And one of the initial things that really caught my eye if you guys can see this, this has an 11 degree target crown, which I'm here to tell you, most rifles in this category, in this price point, most definitely do not have that as a feature. So these come in at around less, little less than 350 bucks. They have them in 243, 308 like this one, and 6.5 Creed. The stock, of course, is polymer, but if you notice these inserts here, they're kind of a, um, a rubberish, rubberish type material. So great for any type of wet conditions outside. If you're in the field hunting, get a good purchase on the stock that way. It does come with your Picatinny rail already attached from the factory. So you don't have to source one of those. Three round detachable magazine, little magazine like this. And I can already tell you, I like this way better than what the uh, Axis comes with. It's very positive and it just, clicks right in so overall i want to see if this thing would be an axis killer i don't know it very well might be it might be this has being a 308 it's a 1 and 11 twist so it should lead itself to shooting the uh hunting grain weight 150 147 grain stuff pretty well but i do have we are going to shoot some gold medal match in it just to see what happens but we're also going to shoot some PowerPoint from Winchester as well as some Federal Blue, Blue Box, my favorite 308 load that you can buy at the stores, 150 grain power shock. So we'll see what that does. But let me get a pull weight on this. Now, I will say just from just from kind of, you know, messing around with this rifle on the bench and so on and so forth, the trigger definitely leads a little to be desired there's no ammunition in this gun so about five and a half pounds it's not terrible but it's got a serious amount of creep in it um, nothing that you couldn't train yourself out of but something to definitely be mindful of and you may be able to see it here so you can see that And then it finally breaks. So it's it's got some creep. It's got some mush to it. It's not overly heavy, but being able to predict that break, eh, it's a little bit off. That's for sure. Now I went with just a cheap four to twelve hunting scope, something that I would figure would be pretty representative of the type of optic that you know you may have on a rig like this. I don't think it would be very very prudent to put a two thousand or a thousand dollar optic on a rifle like this. But to see what it will realistically do under realistic conditions, I think this fits the bill very well. One other thing I wanna note about the barrel is it's a little thicker than what your normal sporter contours are. And I did bring my caliper with me because I was kinda of interested to know what the diameter of that is myself. So let's take a reading here. So at the muzzle, you're looking at about 0.71 and then see if it gets any bigger. Yeah, 0.76 by where the stock is. So it's got a little bit more, more meat to it than your standard 
sporter contour barrels so i do like that now these are not made by savage these are imported by a um, a uh, company from turkey so this is a turkish made gun but like i said man i mean the fit and finish of it the feel is really really good and for all you hunters out there i even brought the weight scale so as configured let's see what this sucker would weigh in the field now unloaded of course so you're looking at about eight pounds, five ounces. So that's realistic realm of actual hunting capabilities. Throw yourself a sling on it. Does come with studs forward and aft. Three position safety up here right by the finger. But uh, let's get this thing on paper. I'm gonna get it sighted in. We're gonna shoot those three loads. I'm only gonna shoot three shot groups with this as this is just a hunting rifle. I feel that that is more than sufficient to, uh, to get a good idea and some data points on this particular, particular rifle. And we'll get some final thoughts. All right, so we're moved over here to the bench. We got the rifle up on the rest. We've got our three loads over here. We got our sighted in. We're gonna start off with three rounds of the Blue Box Federal. This is the 150 grain jacketed soft point power shock. So we're gonna try these at 110 yards and see what happens, guys. one all right doesn't look too bad so i am going to let the barrel cool in between these two or these three three shot strings but uh, next up, we're going to try three of our federal gold medal match, the 168 grain Sierra Match King loaded stuff, and we'll see what happens with it. All right, so three rounds of our federal gold medal match, 110 yards, Savage 334. Uh, it's always got to be that one. Gosh, dang it. All right, so let's let it cool down a couple of more minutes, and then we'll try our last one. Okay, so final load put in the Mac here. We got three rounds of the 150 grain PowerPoint from Winchester. Let's see what these here will do for us. That's going way high. My goodness. Next one here. And our last. 
last one. That's kind of interesting. All right, so stand by for a minute. Let me run down. I'm gonna grab our target. And we'll get some final thoughts on the 334. All right, so I ran down, grabbed our target. Here is what we ended up with. So our first group here, this is our Federal Blue Box. Pretty decent little group. Not bad at all for a hunting load. Came in at 1.315 inches. Next up was the Sierra Match King and what are the odds that we put two shots from two different loads right in the same same hole but nonetheless i was able to discern which one was which but the federal gold medal match came in at 1.242 inches and guys i this shot could have easily been in that same cluster out of all the shots that i took that one definitely felt the worst i know i pulled that one and then winchester powerpoint coming in at under just barely under an inch so this stuff here and 0.977 inches so we got one two and three up here now before you guys start flaming in the comments no i am not going to take the time to re-zero point of impact on every load we're checking the precision capabilities of this barrel and from where i'm standing for the price paid and this gun's intended purpose i say this is a total win so we're talking about basically with hunting ammo dang near moa if not moa at 100 yards now i shot all these at 110 so it distance is a little bit different group size a little bit different but overall i would say this averages out to pretty close to about an inch maybe a little over and guys I, I like it i really like this rifle so one of the things that i did want to point out is the bolt on this so the bolt has a massive three lug design kind of partially fluted really good looking bolt bolt knob is very very prominent easy to grab it's got a little bit of knurling on there help you if conditions were to arise that would be less than stellar during one of your hunting trips but um i like it so is this gun a axis killer for savage i don't know let me know what you guys think down below i'd really be interested to hear what you all think or if you've had any experience with this rifle yet I say for, for 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 the price going into this, they're definitely worth taking a look at, guys. Just the action alone and the fit, feel, and finish of the rifle. I mean, it's it's way above, in my opinion, what you would see on the Savage Axis. So if you have any questions on this, please post them up below. I'd be happy to answer those. Hit us up over on the Facebook page. Check out our Rumble. Also, the campsite got some deals for you all there if you like looking through that stuff. And as always, see you straight. Later.